Greetings, Eric Backer, naturopath from New Zealand, author of Candida Crusher, formulator of the Candida range of supplements. Thanks for checking out my video. Today we're going to talk about a bacteria called Citrobacter frondi. So quite an unusual name, very strange name indeed. So I don't want you to get too bogged down when it comes to many different types of bacteria because there are different types of family, species, etc. It's not really that important to know all this kind of stuff. I just found this quite interesting article on the internet, a microbiology class notes, in fact, which are very good description. So you can read all about Citrobacter and what it is, but it is basically, listen to this, a facultative anaerobic gram-negative coliform bacteria of the Enterobacteria family. Did you understand any of that? Probably not. So this bacteria is quite normal living in the intestines of humans and animals. Many people will have Citrobacter. Citrobacter uh, was discovered in 1932, uh, so not really that long ago. And it can cause a lot of problems in people who are immunocompromised, so the weak, the sick, the frail, the very elderly, or the very young. So it's found sometimes, for example, to be a big problem with neonatal meningitis. It can be a problem. So uh, small infants or elderly people can be particularly a uh, hard hit when it comes to you know bacterial imbalances in the gut. They haven't got really a lot of resistance there and they're very susceptible. So this bug I find quite often in stool tests for people. So when I do stool tests, we've got the good bugs in the green column, you know, the beneficial or expected flora. We've got the imbalanced flora in the middle, which is represent, represented by a yellow column. And on the red, we've got the dysbiotic or the bad flora. Okay, so you don't really want dysbiotic there. So try and understand, I've said this before in videos, good people, people that can take an op, you know, can become imbalanced. If they see an opportunity arises, they can, you know, steal things and stuff like that. And then the downright nasty people, the pedophiles, uh, you know, the, the seriously corrupt politicians, the terrorists, ISIS, all that kind of stuff, you know, that's in the red column. So Citrobacter can become a terrorist in your body if it overgrows. And I'm particularly interested to look at the beneficial expected flora when I see Citrobacter because generally I find lower numbers. So if you've had antibiotics, for example, uh, you know, concurrently, you could be a sitting duck for Citrobacter. You know, it's very common to find that. Citrobacter can cause a lot of problems in people. So urinary tract infections, for example, can happen with um, Escherichia coli or E. coli infections, quite commonly cause UTIs, but Citrobacter can also cause UTIs. And the particular symptoms we're looking for for UTIs from E. coli, burning sensations, urging, uh, you know, wanting to urinate, offensive smell, smelling urine. I find this symptom in particular uh, quite an interesting one with, with this bacteria, but also blood in urine. So if you've got any kind of UTIs, make sure, and you know, and particularly if you've been treated you know, again and again, you could have a citrobacter problem. Now remember, uh, especially for females, bacteria can be transferred from one region to another because of the proximity, and this can be a big issue. So it's important to get your digestive system clean if you get recurring UTIs. Citrobacter has also been linked with respiratory kinds of infections. It can also even affect the organs if it gets out of control. It can affect the liver, it can affect the kidneys, it can affect the intestines. It can cause seriously bad infection. So. What's the solution for Citrobacter? How do you get on top of this thing? Well, like any other bacterial overgrowth, it's important to get the beneficial bacteria up again. It's important to take things out of the diet that feed this kind of imbalance. It's important to keep the adrenal function strong, to keep your cortisol levels balanced, which allows your immune system to, to be very strong and vigilant and will stop imbalances occurring, you know, i.e. stress. Watch out for stress. Stress increases your vulnerability, increases your susceptibility, and it decreases your resistance, allowing you to get hit hard by these bugs. Eating funny food in funny restaurants served by funny people, you know, so watch out where you eat. Travel can create vulnerability. Long nights, not getting enough sleep, fighting with people, hanging around negative people. All these things I've talked about in my previous videos, you need to be very careful about keeping your body in a strong uh, position so it can stop these kinds of imbalances occurring. So the best way probably to pick up a citrobacter problem is really through a stool test because that will pick it up. 
particularly the, the, the PCR, the polymerase uh, chain reaction or DNA testing will pick it up very quick. Um, what else can I tell you about this? I know that this bacteria responds quite well, this imbalance to the Kanzita product. So Kanzita remove, Kanzita restore, and Kanzita rebuild work, will work very well to bring harmony back in the intestinal tract. So that's certainly the, something that you want to worth trying. Also, if you've got a problem with Citrobacter, please follow my Candida Crusher approach, my three-stage diet. It's going to work very well and go in your favor. And remember, it's especially the combination of the lifestyle, the diet, and some supplementation, which is going to give you, you know, that kind of resistance that you're looking for. So don't freak out about this weird thing called Citrobacter form diet. Just understand that it occurs in many people, and you've got to get it back in balance again, just like Candida you know, just like a lot of other bacteria, get it in balance. And if it's in balance, you're going to be fine. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to click on the link uh, in the description box below if you haven't got my report already. We'll see you sometime in the future. Thank you for checking out my video.